433 meters long, as much steel as the Eiffel Tower, with a lift span weighing over 2,500 tons, the size of a football pitch able to lift almost 60 meters above the river water level in 11 minutes. How and why did Bordeaux Urban Community, today called Bordeaux Metropole, embark on this ambitious project? What were the steps, challenges and difficulties? Here are the highlights of the young life of the Jacques Chabon-Delmas vertical lift bridge. Bordeaux metropolitan area already had bridges in this area to cross the Garonne, with the emblematic Pont de Pierre and the Pont d'Aquitaine to the north. Yet, in this rapidly expanding urban area, this was not enough, and the two banks of the river suffered acutely from a lack of crossings between the Bacalan quarter of the left bank and that of the Bastide on the right bank. On a étudié à peu près au débouché de toutes les rues euh, des projets de prolongement, de pont ou de tunnel, et puis on en a choisi finalement euh, jamais, euh, jamais aucun. C'est lorsque nous avons lancé en 1995-1996 le projet de tramway de Bordeaux que nous nous sommes rapidement rendus compte que nous avions besoin de nouveaux franchissements. In January 2006, a panel composed of elected officials, architects and qualified individuals chose the plans of the architect Thomas Lavigne from among five proposals. It took 10 years of work to carry out his vision. Le gros travail qu'on a fait sur ce pont, ça a été de réfléchir vraiment sur comment inscrire ce projet dans la continuité de, de l'aménagement des quais hein, qui a été fait et dans la continuité du retour euh, de la ville de Bordeaux sur, euh, sur la Garonne, sur son fleuve. Un pont urbain, c'est ça, c'est un pont où on se sent bien dessus, où il y a une qualité de vie où le parcours est enrichissant et où on peut aussi s'arrêter pour contempler euh, le paysage. The new bridge would thus extend Rue Lucien Fort in order to connect the Bacalan Quay to the Braza Quay. It closes the transit loop formed by the boulevards around Bordeaux. And so as not to block boats returning back up the river, the bridge must be able to rise to the level of the bridge deck of the Pont d'Aquitaine and be lowered down to the level of the Pont de Pierre. Once the bridge's location had been decided, the construction phase began in autumn 2009 with Bordeaux Urban Community providing project management support with the Design and Construction Consortium headed by Egis and Vinci, which represent the main trades involved in the construction site. The first step is to install booms on the river. They allow access and the lifting of pieces above the Garonne. They are also used to ground the protection islands and the bases. These elements are used as the basis for an enormous construction game in which the four pylon towers, 77 meters high, and the various spans are fit together. All of these pieces are delivered in a kit, except for the pylons, which will be built directly on site using an automatic climbing formwork. At Bassins, in the dry dock number three, the teams have five months to meet the first challenge of the project. They must build a first base, 44 meters long, 16 meters high and 18 meters wide, as well as its protection islands. The pieces are then towed, one by one, to the site of the future bridge. But making a mix of concrete and metal float is an amazing feat. On a three caissons à emmener sur place. Il y a des pièces de, allant de 2700 tonnes à 6000 tonnes à remorquer et, et à faire flotter. Even if the laws of physics theoretically guarantee the flotation of this set of elements, the teams must also deal with the tides and currents of the Garonne. The slightest error and the five-story building runs aground and causes a six-month delay in the entire construction project. Sur le papier, l'opération elle marchait bien, mais tant qu'on l'a pas vu faite, euh, elle a, ben on voit que ça marche. In four days and four nights, the teams alternately take shifts, working intensively to bring together the four kilometers that separate Bassins and Brazaki. Once they are delivered, the pieces can be positioned using winches. Le point B, euh, si on pouvait l'amener vers l'amont. To place them gently, we fill them with water and let them sink. The bases and the islands then have 20 posts driven through them which are each filled with concrete to anchor them to the ground. Each piece is then filled with concrete and closed up again. This operation is then successfully repeated again five months later on the left bank. While ships navigate the Garonne as usual, the construction site progresses and the four pylons needed for the lift climb a little higher each day in the sky over Bordeaux. Each pylon represents 600 tons of counterweight necessary for the lift of the central span. The 100 remaining tons will be lifted by motors concealed within the bridge under the Garonne. 
And it is here, in Creusot en Bourgogne, with the company NFM Technologies, that these famous motors are tested. Typically, most lift bridges will have the machinery located at the level of the lifted bridge, whereas this one it's located below the roadway, which makes it easier to maintain. It's a very beautiful bridge and it's a very elegant bridge, which is not really what lift bridges are known for being. Between the bases and the riverbanks, gabions are placed in the riverbed to protect the bridge from erosion. The cloudy waters of the Garonne do not make the divers' job any easier as they supervise the placement of the blocks. Intermediate piers complete the foundation engineering. They will provide in particular the support for the metallic spans that will soon arrive. In August 2011, a colossal piece of metal weighing over 2,000 tons arrives from Italy. It is transporting the two first stationary spans intended for the right bank. Built near Venice by the company Cimolai, they make their way to the distant construction site 5,000 kilometers away by sea. The approach is done using a barge guided by winches. Set on top of pivoting crawler vehicles called Camag, span A will pivot 90 degrees before being positioned above the piers. Now it just needs to wait for the tide to go out and gently be set on the structure. Three days later, it is span B's turn to be set in place in the same way. Now the welders just need to connect the two parts. The same operation with the other two stationary spans, which are shorter and lighter, is repeated on the left bank, this time with even less leeway. Cette fois, tous les ouvrages béton sont construits, ce qui nous laisse pour la première opération à peu près 10 cm de manœuvre. Ça va être presque pratiquement de l'horlogerie, parce que quand on est sur l'eau et déplacer une charge qui fait à peu près 1000 tonnes, c'est assez délicat. The spans are then fixed and concreted in order to receive the coat of asphalt necessary for the circulation of vehicles on the bridge. In order to cover and protect the 415 steps that allow access to the top of the bridge, over 2,000 square meters of glass wall is set on each pylon. These glass walls will also be used by artist Jan Ker Sally to sculpt the lighting for the Chabon Delmas bridge, playing with a palette that fluctuates between turquoise and blue with the tides and nightfall. In the sky over Bordeaux, pulleys rise to guide the cables through the maneuvers of lifting and lowering the rising span. And in the bridge's foundations, teams are actively implementing and calibrating the lift mechanism. All weather conditions as well as emergency stops are simulated. Everything must be configured before the delivery of the last piece of the puzzle. If we lift the travée alors qu'il vient juste de pleuvoir, il y a pas mal d'eau embarqué à la travée sur un ouvrage de 120 mètres par 45, ça constitue tout de suite un poids assez important. C'est un ouvrage, c'est pas un simple pont, c'est un pont mobile. Donc derrière, il va falloir l'exploiter, savoir anticiper les manœuvres, donc venir vérifier que la machinerie fonctionne bien, que tout le, tous les mécanismes, tous les contrôles commandes sont bien ouverts pour pouvoir lever l'ouvrage quand un bateau se, se présentera. 23rd of October 2012, the whole city holds its breath along with the construction teams. The central span finishes its strip and needs to be fitted into the rest of the structure. The workers only have a few centimeters on both sides of the 117 meters of length to position it. It is an enormous challenge. Success! The two banks are finally joined. The workers who worked on both banks of the Garonne without ever meeting are the first to cross the Bacalan Bastide Bridge. <laughs> the last phase of the construction project is dedicated to the finishing touches on the structure. The bridge now bears the name of Jacques Chaban Delmas, a tribute to the former mayor of Bordeaux. The bridge was inaugurated on March 16, 2013, in the presence of the French president, the president of Bordeaux Metropole, and the mayor of Bordeaux. Merci pour votre accueil et merci pour cette belle réalisation. The Chabon Delmas Bridge, 
blends in naturally with the daily life of city inhabitants. Signs inform them of the dates and times the bridge will be lifted. Management of the structure was ensured by the Service of Engineering Works of the Highways Department of Bordeaux Metropole. On the contract, it entrusted the mechanism maintenance and maneuvering of the structure to Effage Construction Metallic. Maneuvering the passage of boats is operated from the command post on the Brazza Quay at the request of the captaincy of the port of Bordeaux. On est en situation programmée dès lors que le bateau passe au large et puis euh, au fur et à mesure de son avancée dans la Garonne, il va nous donner des points de passage obligés qui euh, seront retransmis au pont qui va euh, entamer son cycle d'ouverture. Ouais, pour JCD, pour Bordeaux, je viens d'avoir le pilote, donc le navire, l'insignia passera à 13 heures sous le pont avec un remorqueur. Ok, bien reçu. On commence la remonte du pont, à tout à l'heure. Avant que le bateau arrive, il y a toute une phase de préparation pour savoir si l'ouvrage est prêt à, à fonctionner quand le bateau arrivera. Une fois que c'est fini, on arme le pont, on prévient la capitainerie qui nous donne l'autorisation de lever l'ouvrage. After thorough inspection, all travel on the bridge is prohibited and the last bystanders are asked to return to the riverbanks. Ok, c'est bon, on arme le pont. Further up the Garonne, a tugboat awaits the arrival of a sightseeing cruise ship, which will be moored on the Chartrand Quay today. Pour les bateaux qui sont euh, supérieurs à 175 mètres, euh, on met en place systématiquement un remorqueur qui va euh, l'aider dans sa manœuvre d'accostage. The tugboat pilot has the required power to compensate for any deficiency on the part of the ship and to prevent it from colliding with the structure as it passes through. This is an entire routine that is frequently repeated and is part of making Bordeaux the second port of the Atlantic Channel coast for cruise ship stops after Le Havre. Recipient of the prestigious award for outstanding projects in 2014, the Jacques Chabon-Delmas Bridge has become a symbol of the Bordeaux area. Yet, beyond its architectural success, it is a genuine popular success. The inhabitants of Bordeaux Metropole are proud of their bridge that as well as uniting two banks, has succeeded in uniting a city with its future.